What's up, Strategy Center? My name is Firewing, and I'm bringing you a 5th gen black and white OU battle between Good Game Gengar and Joey H367. Now, this is my first ever commentary, so I'm super excited to be doing this, and I'm really glad that you could join us here on Strategy Center. So, uh, let's look at the team preview real quick, and we see that Good Game Gengar has a great lead in the form of Politoed, because Joey actually brings no weather to this battle. So if Gengar can get his rain up right off the bat, huge advantage for him throughout the entire battle. Now looking at Joey's team, Mind Show is one of my favorite leads personally, because it can use Fake Out and then you turn out of there. So it's a great lead for scouting. Uh, however, Landorus is also a really good lead, as is Rotom. So we have some potential in three different leads. But I think it's pretty safe to say that Gengar is going to lead off with Politoed, because that rain is super important. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this battle. Um, so G Gengar is going to lead off with his Politoed, get that rain up for the rest of the battle, because Joey has nothing to counter the permanent rain for this game. And Joey's going to lead with Mind Shower, go straight for the Fake Out, get some damage on that Politoed. And now, of course, fearing the Scarf, he's going to switch out into his Celebi to take the Hydro Pump, which is coming. And in the rain, that's not going to do too much to his Celebi, because it resists it. Still a good chunk, though. Now, Politoed's got to switch out and go into Tornadus, which completely walls most Celebes, as Celebi does predict this and go for the U-turn, which gives Joey the offensive momentum early on in the game. Now, Joey's going to send out his Mind Shell again, just to fake out Gengar's Tornadus, get some damage on it. You know, it can add up over time, make a difference in the end of the battle. So now, Gengar's going to withdraw his Tornadus and go into his Gastrodon, as M Joey's Mind Shell goes for the safe Stone Edge on Tornadus to get some damage on it but it doesn't do very much to Gastrodon, even with no defensive investment. Now Joey's going to go for the U-turn and switch out. Now Gengar right now is going to make a pretty risky prediction, and he's actually going to predict the Celebi to come in and go for the Ice Beam. However, Joey kind of sees that coming and switches out to his Rotom. However, the Rotom gets frozen! Yes! So, it's not a big deal at this part in the game, but you know, uh, Gengar is going to optimize on this, switch out into a Dragonite, which is going to outrage everything. And this Dragonite is choice banded, so peace to that Rotom. It is just gone. There's no way it can take that. Now Joey is kind of in a situation here, so he's going to switch into a Scizor, which does resist outrage. But banded Dragonite isn't messing around. This outrage is going to do a crap ton. It does almost 75% to the Scizor, which does resist it. Dang, that's a strong Pokemon. But unfortunately, Scizor does have that priority, which is going to take up the Dragonite after the critical hit the turn before, which is kind of going to make a difference, but not a big deal, as Gengar goes out to his uh, Tentacruel, which walls the Scizor, who's got to switch out into Zatu. Now, predicting the Toxic Spikes, of course, but Gengar does predict that and goes for the Ice Beam to get some damage off on that Zatu. Now, Joey's kind of in a predicament and has got to switch out, but so does Gengar. So Gengar predicts that and goes into his Tornadus, but unfortunately, Joey does stay in and go for the Roost. However, this isn't a bad thing for Gengar, because now Gengar can just hurricane everything, and nothing wants to take a hurricane from this thing. It's Stab, massive special attack, nothing wants to take this hurricane. Easy Oko on the Zatu. Life Orb, too. I mean, that's just... That's not messing around. So Scizor comes out, and the Bullet Punch is pretty obvious, but it's not a Bullet Punch. Joey goes to the Pursuit, makes the excellent play, and takes out that huge threat to his team. On the on the kill, Gengar's gonna go out to his Gastrodon, and knowing that he can live a banded Pursuit, goes for the Recover. Yes, that's right. This Choice Specs Gastrodon carries Recover. Great play by Gengar. Totally changed the balance of this game. So now, Joey has to switch out. Gengar's going to optimize this and go f optimize on this and go for another recover. This thing that was at like 2 HP a second ago is now at full. So now Gastrodon's got to switch out fearing the grass type as Gengar goes into Ferrothorn to take the Leaf Storm easy. Like, that didn't even hurt. That tickled. Okay, Ferrothorn is definitely one of the best walls in this gen. Now after after turn effects, Joey's going to withdraw his Celebi and go out to Scizor. Now Gengar's going to switch out, predicting this, and go into his Tentacruel. Because there's nothing a Tentacruel or a Scizor can do to a Tentacruel. So Gengar's going to take this time to set up some spikes, so that next time that Celebi comes in, it will get poisoned, as well as the Mind Shell. So that's going to that's gonna come into play later on, as you'll see. 
Now Joey U-turns to maintain his offensive momentum, gets some damage off on Tentacruel, and goes into the big Landorus. Now this is kind of scary right now for Gengar, but Gengar's going to switch out into his Politoed, because that's kind of the thing he needs the least right now. And this Earthquake is going to hurt, but he lives it, just barely lives it. Politoed's a survivalist. Now Joey's going to switch out to a Scizor, and he's going to take an Ice Beam, this Politoed is Scarfed, not spec, so it's not going to do a lot. But, will it take it out? Will it take it out? No. Unfortunately, he barely lives that and gets off the U-turn, which will kill Politoed. But now Gengar's in a good situation because he gets to see what Joey's going to bring out before he decides what he wants to bring out. So, upon seeing Joey's Mind Shell, uh, Gengar is going to bring out his Tentacruel, because there's not a whole lot Mind Shell can do to Tentacruel. But the Mind Shell is going to go for the Fake Out, get some damage off on it, force our te force Gengar's Tentacruel to flinch. Then after the After Turn effects and Tentacruel getting some of that HP back, and Mind Shell getting hurt by Poison and Life Orb, Gengar is going to withdraw his Tentacruel, go out into his Ferrothorn, you know, get get some wallage going on here, force the Mind Shell to take some Iron Bard's damage as well as Life Orb damage, kind of starting to rack up, even though Mind Shell does get Regenerator as Joey goes in to the Scizor. Now this is kind of scary, because uh, most Scizors do carry superpower, which will hurt Ferrothorn a lot. Banded superpower coming off that Scizor. Ooh, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt. And it does take out the Ferrothorn, because it's super effective. But the Iron Barbs will get that Scizor, and it is a double down, folks. Both Pokemon are out. So on the double down, Joey's going to send out his lead, Mind Show, and Gengar is going to send out his Tentacruel. Now Tentacruel avoids the Stone Edge, which is awesome, and gets off an Ice Beam just to hurt that Mind Show a little bit more, and you know get get some residual damage on it. It's racking up too with Life Orb and Toxic, as the Mind Show will go for the Stone Edge again. Tentacruel's HP goes down, 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 lives it that bulk, super good as Tentacruel takes out Mind Shell with an Ice Beam. So Tentacruel is going to get some HP back from Black Sludge and Rain Dish as Joey sends out his Celebi. Now this is where the Toxic Spikes are very, very important as it poisons the Celebi. But Joey's going to go for the Earth Power and will it kill the Tentacruel? Nope. It survived with 2 HP and going to get a massive hit off with Ice Beam. And after After Turn effects, that's going to make a huge difference to the Celebi because it's going to almost die from poison. So Gengar is going to make the great play here, fodder out his Tentacruel, as he knows that Joey's Celebi will not survive till the end of the turn, just take damage from Toxic. So it's one-on-one -on -one now. This is a close game, as uh, Joey sends out his Landorus, and Gengar goes into his Gastrodon. Now, this is where those recovers came in, to play earlier, because this thing's at full HP, and it can easily take that Earthquake from Landorus and get off a Choice Specs Rain Boosted Surf for the Oko and the game. This was a great game, both by Good Game Gengar and Joey H367, one of the best I've seen. No misplays on either side, solid game, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching, and I hope you'd subscribe and like the video, as our channel is relatively new and every little bit helps. This is Firewing, signing out.